Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new in the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe and like for uh, future reviews on outdoor equipment. So let's dive into it and um, see how this 25-ton um, log splitter is done for me. Put about 15 cords of wood through it for vertical and horizontal. You just basically pick it up. It's got a nice handle here. You pull the pin back so it locks it in. It's got a little, uh, little compartment here for all your paperwork and, um, uh, how to, um, when to, uh, service it. It's got a little filter on here. Get you a little closer. So it's got a, um, hydraulic filter. So it's a spin off. So you can, um, swap it out and put a new one on to service it. Here's an oil tank for the hydraulic fluid. It holds about five gallons. It came with it. So we got the um, Kohler 6.5 horsepower. It's about uh, half to you know, three quarters gallon of uh, gas it holds. Goes uh, probably an hour, hour or so, depending on your splitting and how much RPMs you're doing. The filter here stays pretty clean. It's not like you're running it down the road. So um, pretty simple. A little filter. Just slip it back on. Cover. Got the exhaust. The gas cap here is pretty nice. It, it twists off and then it's got a little, little chain on it. So it stays, it stays there. It's got a little filter in here. So you can, um, you know, catch anything that goes in the tank. So you don't have to worry about that. So nice, uh, cap. Doesn't seem like it's going to break anytime soon. Sometimes you get ones that are just flat and they're just doesn't hold up. Nice reinforced steel. Um, it's basically, it's got some, it's got some holes here. They got, it's all threaded. That's for uh, plates to come out to hold your logs on each side. So that's a, a pretty good feature that you can add on to it. But basically, guys, this has been um, a really good splitter for me. The only thing that I wish it did have is um, basically the motor has um, an idle control. So basically, when you go forward on your control, it'll ramp up on your, your uh, RPMs. And you can split it, and then once you you stop and you put it in the stop position, it'll go down, or you put it in the retract for the um, the ram to slide back into the holding area. Um, once it hits that holding area, then the RPMs go down. It saves a lot of gas. The motor doesn't have to work at a high RPM all the time. That's one thing I wish wish it did have. But hitch hook up here. It's got the retract. You pull this down and then this, you pick, you pick up the front end. You can hit it with your foot and then you basically, you pick up on it and it automatically retracts. It's got a little rubber boot that you can clip on to hold this up so it don't bounce around like that. Flip this down, puts it into lock mode, but that's that rubber boot holder. Um, just to hold it up. It's got the chains here for, um, you know, the safety, one on each side. And this this comes standard with, with the splitter. Um, but basically, guys, this thing has been good for me. I haven't had any any leaks. But this ram here inside, actually, I'm going to start it because I want you to see this. So let me start it up. So I'll put it on a little bit of upper rabbit, you know. Um, I've already had it started, so hit the, hit the switch for on and off, so it's on, and pull. So I put it pretty, 
pretty low, so I'm going to push the ram forward. So this ram here, this is basically, if I turn it off, this here is probably one of the most important things. So there's a seal here. It's got a little dirt around it, but not much. But I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see that. So there's a little seal. So that seal and this this thing's all smooth. All right. So I'm going to give you a tip. So if this thing, you don't want nothing, it's real nice and smooth. You want to keep this clean. All right. You want to, any, any gouges, any wood that hits this rubber boot in here. Um, and if it starts leaking, just stop, get the rebuild for it, get the seal. Don't continue because it'll end up spraying everywhere. Hydraulic fluid go everywhere. But this, this um, bar here, you want to make sure it doesn't have any nicks, okay? So if you do get a nick in it for some reason, if you drop a hammer on this and it gets a nick, that there's so say there's a nick here. Do not let this nick go inside the ram. Once this nick goes and slides back, goes in, hits the rubber boot, and goes in, it's going to tear that boot. So if you see a nick, you can retract this, you can retract this back, but do not let it get inti inside this rubber boot. So that's a, uh, just a words of advice. I appreciate you guys watching this review and, uh, stay tuned for more, um, outdoor equipment, uh, reviews I'll be doing and, uh, we'll see you next time.